awesome chat is brought to you by sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com and listeners like you support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast Hey guys, it is the awesome chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk uh, some our geeky friends here. Uh, we have a lot of interviews. Awesomecast.net. You subscribe to Awesome Chat on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, or the YouTube or Facebook for Awesome Cast uh, for video versions of these interviews. So many we've had over the years. Uh, so please check them out, everybody. Uh, building apps, building companies, building video games, and podcasters, and so much more uh please support the show patreon.com slash awesome cast and you can get some tidbits and some extra stuff in between that we record and put out there for you guys that support us on the show and we really do appreciate that uh with us today is an old old techie friend old techie friend i mean <laughs> i mean like early days of pod camp i ran into this fellow and he was did he did he did a fun blog and i i, I you know and, and uh he's always been around the community so Andy Quayle well joining <laughs> us today. I was uh, excited to get an opportunity to get you in here and just chat with you. So how you doing, Andy? Doing okay. All right. So you got you got a lot of stuff going on. You got you got a list. You know, uh, you know Techberg, Tubu, and and of course you work with the uh, uh, West Mifflin on some stuff. Can can I generally tell you what what do you do? What do I do? I do everything all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I am the IT coordinator for the borough of West Mifflin. And uh, that encompasses the police department and everything to do with it, too. So we do uh, social media, web, everything IT police related, um, the works. Um, I'm the CEO, owner of Tubo Internet Solutions, domain registration, uh, web hosting, etc. And I'm the main administrator, author of techberg.com. It's a long time, mostly Pittsburgh based tech blog. And uh, everything to do with that. That's awesome. So, so um, well, well, let's start with you know, kind of, uh, you know, let's talk about the IT for like a borough. Like that's got to be, I think when most people think like you know for a borough like that, like it's kind of like oh, that's they're usually ten years behind everybody, you know. And, and it's, it's, I think it's a general thought, right? Um, yeah, and that's uh, it's mostly because it's true. Okay, <laughs> but <laughs> um, I'm lucky that uh, West Mifflin uh, is a very progressive borough. It's one of the larger municipalities in the state. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've got a lot of lot of uh, lot of stuff going on there. Kennywood, I won't say Century Three, um, <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of industry and a lot of a uh, lot of good stuff going on in West Mifflin. Mm-hmm. And uh, they like to they like to stay, they're trying to stay ahead of the curve, and we are we're doing we're doing a really good job of it. That's good. I, I say there's a lot, there's a lot going on there. A lot of people. I mean, probably you know what are the near, one of the boroughs in the area, but it has the most people coming into it, right? Oh, absolutely, coming into it, and uh, just geographic size. It's mm-hmm. huge. I'm always I'm always perplexed because I'll come in from one side and end up you know Homestead and over that way to to Kennywood and then like realizing like I'm over in Century Three and I'm like wait is this the same area? Absolutely, and, and yeah. that address. We, uh, we use GPS tracker on the police cars and when one of the cars goes downtown, mm-hmm. you can see what downtown compared to or city compared to West Mifflin and yeah. how our cars are spread out during their patrol. Mm-hmm. versus this car that's way it's, and it's a lot it's of like huge. winding into the mountains and and a lot of um um, um industries up there too that take up a lot of a lot of re- a lot of space that's right and there's a lot of green space too which is kind yeah. of re- really surprising yeah absolutely it's usually what i cut through to get to any of our jobs for the wrestling here in, in the south there so it, it seems like the the connective tissue of the uh south southeast of pittsburgh oh yeah so um tell me a little bit about Techburg. like kind of how what was your kind of inkling to start how long has it been around uh, since 2007-ish. Ooh. It's been a while. Um, so early podcast, pod camp days, actually. Early pod camp yeah. days, yeah. Um, I think I actually just started it before pod camp in 07. Um, the, the whole idea was um, I, I was just making lists and notes about stuff and tech stuff that was going on, tips, tricks, and how-tos that I knew in the industry. And people kept asking me for all this information and what to do and how to do it. Uh, so I figured I'd uh, write it down in the form of a form of a blog, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it uh, it gets some it gets some good exposure, mm-hmm. and uh, I like to highlight tech stuff that's going on in Pittsburgh. 
Mm-hmm. It's definitely, I, you know, I think we've we've hit up a couple of the articles over the years here on Awesome Cast, of course, as, you know, it comes up in our feeds and everything. Um, so it, it's, it's definitely a good resource for, for that kind of thing. Um, so it was kind of a response. Were you already doing the IT with the borough at the time? Uh, I was just doing IT generally. Mm-hmm. Um, very, uh, my, my whole IT industry, my whole, uh, my whole IT life has been very broad. So, uh, it's it's good to get stuff done in writing sometimes, just so I don't forget. Mostly, <laughs> that's good. Uh, well, what's kind of your you know biggest kind of uh, is there any kind of response that kind of surprised you over the years of doing this? Um, typically, the rule of stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you can work for I've I've said this to so many people, but you can work for days on a really lengthy, in depth, you know, something article, and then you post a little quote or a little little something and that's the one that gets the exposure um so it's it's constantly surprising me about uh, what does get the exposure and why it is but uh it's it's good to get uh, it's good to get the feedback and people emailing you thanking you about you know they were having this problem they mm-hmm. couldn't work around it they couldn't figure it out and uh it's good to see that you're helping you technically helping somebody out there that's great that's great so so you got a, a bit of a community around mm-hmm. it i mean it's definitely one of the um um you know kind of cornerstones of, of things that have been around in the city for a bit like I, I think the first for the first few blogs i think i came across was probably yours uh i think the tech burger one from from uh the the tech council right and probably probably pit girl mm-hmm. you know back in the day so mm-hmm. And I think two of those are still around. So, you know, well, I guess one reformat is technical. Right. right. <laughs> so that's a whole other story. Uh, so, um, so, so what are you like? What's your kind of interest? Like, you know, you're, you're talking about everything from like, you know, phones, like I guess smartphones is kind of the biggest thing. Like you've seen the kind of change from 2007 to now, the, 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 the pre iPhone days and the right. transition, right? Um, I think my, uh, my biggest indus- my biggest uh, interest right now is probably the home automation mm-hmm. that ties in with the smartphones as well. Absolutely. Um, I've got my house mostly kitted out. Um, Hue, smart things, um, Nest, all over it. So, like Chilla on the on the show, you you also have the uh, home of the future going on over there. Uh, I don't like to think of it as the home of the future. I think of it as the home that makes sense. Okay. Um, for example, uh, as a as a long time firefighter the nest smoke detectors tying in with the nest thermostat and tying in with the hue light bulbs and mm-hmm. unlocking my door if the smoke alarms go off and things like that it's all kinds of stuff that would make sense mm-hmm. um so yeah I mean, yeah it's the whole it's futuristic kind of i guess <laughs> but uh yeah i just like to think that it makes sense so so you have an interesting perspective with the firefighter side of things so i mean what what do you see you know advantageous to these kinds of things so the people that just have the standard i got the thing with the the the, the duracell battery in it that, that that beeps at me i should probably test every so often right um well nest for example they came up with their smoke detectors smoke and copper monoxide detectors because all regular detectors do with people is irk them uh they just just generally get angry with them they mm-hmm. tear them off the ceiling and never put them back up the batteries come out and never go back and in. And just unprotected at that exactly. time. Exactly. They're just, they're just useless at that time. So they reinvented their smoke detector, uh, made it useful, friendly. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's what I like about the technology. And that's where I can see the technology going. It's becoming actually useful and uh, not uh, not cumbersome and not in a way. Absolutely. Um, and, of course, you're involved with Tubu. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was another thing I thought um, that was... Oh, back in the day, back in the late nineties, I founded that one. Um, it was, uh, that's when people were being charged, you know, hundreds of dollars for a single HTML web page and mm-hmm. things like that and overcharged for domains. And I was like, uh, surely somebody can come along and do this better. So I put my money where my mouth is and I, uh, I like to think that I came along and did it better. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, I, I think I was an early Tubu uh, 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 patron for a bit, <laughs> right? So, right? Because I know, I know, uh, I I was stuck in the old. Because I remember, I remember that like you, it was like fifty dollars a month a year, and you mm-hmm. had to buy two years at a time, right? Right. Like it was a really high, you know, pressure for so like I just want to run a blog or exactly. something at the time, and uh, and I, th- I think I was stuck in name zero, if you recall. Mm-hmm. Like they ran a little banner ad at the right. bottom, and, right? And but you had your domain, mm-hmm. and I need, I think I needed to get some out of there, <laughs> so right. And Right. And yours was a service at the time was just like the perfect thing. Mm-hmm. So that's great. Um, so, uh, you know, you know, so you're, you're a blogger, you're a technology. 
uh, uh, entrepreneur and, uh, and you know, do you have any kind of advice for people wanting to start like a blog at this point? You know, I mean, the game's changed so much in the, the 10 years since you've been around. Um, get out and do it. Yeah. Don't think you're going to get rich quick off of it. Um, don't listen to all the bloggers out there who say they are getting rich quick off of it. Um, yeah, just get out there and do it. Write what you want to write. Um, do it the right way. Um, talk to people who've been doing it for a long time. There's a lot of people out there who have been doing it for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just jump into it. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to get going. Just a couple of bucks and you got yourself a site. Probably the lowest entry out of between that versus podcasting versus you know YouTube videos oh, or something, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, but also like make sure it's the thing you dig. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, yeah, we, something you're passionate about. And, yeah. Uh, don't don't write for people. Write for yourself mm -hmm. because guaranteed there's a there's an audience out there for whatever you're into mm -hmm. and uh yeah don't uh, don't cater to everybody just do it for yourself and figure out figure out like one thing you know we've seen you know we, we've had projects where we've had like oh we need to write a thing you know we need to write blogs we need to write this and then realize that's not that person's best mm -hmm. you know that's not how they, they they're able to express themselves better you know, so, uh, you know, don't be afraid to, to kind of move to, oh, I need to have a video YouTube show this thing. It's like, no, I'm better at just writing and putting some, exactly. something down, right? It's the whole Facebook radio thing. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, you know. But but in, in skill and comfort level, too, mm -hmm. not just, like, physically. Absolutely. <laughs> right, right. So, awesome. <clears throat> um, anything else you want to plug? Anything else going on out there? No, um just uh i'm just no there's nothing much i need to plug i mean we've done, a, we've done a good job of talking about what i'm all about there you go and of course you're going to be joining us if you haven't checked out already on the awesome cast um whatever number that is for this week uh so go check out uh, his appearance over there and check out uh techberg.com and tubu and everything going on uh thank you so much andy for joining us no problem no problem at all all right and check out everything awesomecast.net subscribe to all the interviews and everything uh check out the past ones we've done all the way back in the day we started with you jag off another blogger and uh and have so much more uh thank you so much uh check out patreon.com slash awesomecast rate review subscribe all those things thank you to our awesome guest andy you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com